Pediatric OSA, pediatric means something will be with children, children up to the age of 18 years and OSA stands for obstructive sleep apnea. Obstructive sleep apnea in a pediatric age group is pediatric OSA which is a, which is the condition which has been neglected over centuries but now gaining importance. Why so? Those who have got a uh, sleep apnea, that is obstructive sleep apnea, obstruction during sleep, those children are not able to perform well. They have their milestones which are getting delayed. And this is purely because of sleep. This is purely because of something which can be corrected. If something which can be corrected, why not? I am Dr. Sneel Shah. I am a head and neck robotic surgeon. I also take care of sleep apnea. I am a sleep specialist. And I would help you tackle this problem in a pediatric age group or in children. The most common site of obstruction in a pediatric sleep apnea are the tonsils. As we say, it's got tonsil ho gaya hai, tonsil sooj gaya hai, tonsil mein sujan a gaya hai, tonsil laal ho gaya hai. So tonsillitis or recurrent tonsillitis and with that something called as adenoids. Adenoids are nothing but a nasopharyngeal tonsil which are present behind the nose. These are going to increase in size. These are going to obstruct the airway and you would land up having a sleep apnea. Patient will not sleep well. I have a simple way of correcting it. Not only would I ablate with a coblation the adenoids but I can also do tonsillotomy. Now I'm going to appease my pediatric pediatricians, that is the physicians who look after children. They recommend not to undergo tonsillectomy. I am not going to do a tonsillectomy. I am going to do a tonsillotomy. So the tonsil is going to be preserved. But I'm going to ablate the hypertrophic part, the part which is protruding out subcapsularly, either through a radio frequency ablation which I can do in a daycare setting, in an office based setting or I can just do in the operation theater or uh, what I would say is a tonsillotomy combining it with a inferior turbinate reduction. I would not do a septoplasty that is the correction of the bone in the midline but I would at least do a adenoids, a tonsillectomy and I would also re reduce the turbinates. Doing that, this is going to increase a space which is behind the palate, increase the space which is behind the tongue, so retropalatal, retroglossal area which is going to increase in size, increase in space and this is going to help child breathe better. If not corrected, you would have lot of other deformities, something like high arch palate, crowding of the teeth, patient will have typical adenoid phases, oblong phases, oblong phases is what patient will have and you will land up requiring a correction for the upper jaw and the lower jaw. Many times, this is, this is the cause. Most of the time, this is what I said is the cause. But sometimes, there could be childbirth deformities in the form of a retrognathia or there could be a maxillary hypoplasia, meaning upper jaw which has not developed or the, or the lower jaw which has receded behind. And that's why you are not going to have we are going to have a reduced space and you might require for that a maxillomandibular advancement. We do not recommend this as a first step. First step is always a pediatric OSA to address the nose and the and the and, and the tonsils. And if that is done and still no relief, we would go for an advancement of maxilla or mandible. But this is what is still correctable. Apart from that, there are other other devices which can also be added, something like a mandibular advancement devices. I have my dental friends who are going to offer you MAD, mandibular advancement devices. And these are going to protrude the jaw further, preventing the fall and inducing a good sleep. But that's going to be slightly cumbersome. But if there is no other option, I will be able to go and give that. So I would like to appeal to all my pediatric dentists I would like to appeal to all my orthodontists, please do consider this corrective surgeries and your mental advancement therapy in combination because that is going to take care of child. Child will have a normal milestone, they will achieve normal milestones, a proper development over a period of time. Hi, I am Dr. Snail Shah. I am a head and neck cancer surgeon. 
but I am also a robotic surgeon and I am here also as a sleep specialist for you. I take care of your sleep.